Right guys, I've just about got us back to where we should have been. And I've dropped the difficulty down one notch. So hopefully things won't go so badly. I was actually looking up a few things and apparently um the AI is more aggressive on OpenXCOM, apparently. Uh, I don't know how true that is, that's just what one guy said in a forum. But um, I definitely don't remember it being that much of a slaughter fest, but who knows, anyway. Um, I've just got us back to where we are, we've ordered all of our equipment, we've got some pretty good soldiers now. Um, the only thing is that um, we're waiting on one more soldier to arrive, so hopefully I'll have a little bit more luck this time. Anyway, uh, cancel. We've just found our first contact. Just going over the UK now. What we're going to do though, instead of shooting them down, we're going to tail him and hopefully intercept him over the mainland. Right, you bastard. Time to fry. Okay, we're going to go in aggressive. What is it? Ooh, okay. It's not a tiny probe, which is interesting. The interceptor actually took a hit there, but that's okay. Right, hopefully now we have a chance. There we go, wait until the night time. Okay, right, let's go. Sweep this place up, intercept. Sky Ranger, go. Now hopefully things uh, are gonna be a little bit better. Now I've just researched the, um, the laser pistol as well. Or oh, no, I've just researched um, laser technology we're now looking into the laser pistol as a whole I should say and we're gonna start manufacturing those as soon as we can right enter the first crash site this is going to be interesting um, I'm mm, a bit apprehensive about how well this is gonna go but right Lady V did I not set this up I'm pretty sure I just set this up oh we've got no spare magazines well that's okay um, I mean, there shouldn't be too many um, enemies here anyway. And why is my TV jibbing out? There we go. That's better. Right, okay. So, no spare magazines. Also, we've ditched the um, small rockets. And we have the large ones. Now, they weigh six. What does that weigh? <sighs> Okay, so they do weigh slightly more. However, I think the large rockets are going to be pretty much fine for this mission. We'll see. Everybody can start off with a grenade in their hand. I don't also think that if you have something in your left hand, you get a penalty for it. I'm pretty sure you don't. Um, I might play around with that. I don't know, I might do some more research on that, but I'm pretty sure there's no penalty. Andrew, right, there's your rocket gun, my son. Now, have some small rockets, because we're only going to be coming up against crappy little things anyway. Ooh, you've only got... You've only got three shots. In fact, actually, you can only have four shots total, if you think about it, because it's only the backpack that you can hold a rocket in anyway, but that's okay. Right, Captain Cockmunch, standard load for you. Just, I'm pretty sure I did equip this. We don't have a lot of grenades either, because I think we're still waiting on those. Lord Zeon, you, are just gonna demo up. Grab a rifle, and you can have that in your hand. And you can carry it, so why not? There you go, have another one. Like I say, I'm pretty sure the more laden down someone is, um, the more uh, their strength goes up. So that would be fine. Sir Dean of AA, grab your rifle and your grenade. Standard. Oh, he's... You're strong. Damn. Alright. Someone has yet been named. So, yeah, it's your stuff. And Ada, you're just going to have a rifle by the look of things. Jill, one rifle for you. There we go. A little bit lean on the equipment because I'm still waiting for things to come in. Surprised how quick 
these aliens set on us actually right now I am going to drop a save um, and hopefully this won't be quite ah oh, it looks like we're in the corner as well I like that right so we actually have our backs up against the wall which means which corner ah oh, this is a corner got ya so Let's start getting our scout out there. Now, hopefully, we're not going to need this guy to fire. This guy is just going to be a scout. He'll only fire if we have no other option. It's a shame the tank can't drive over the wooden fence, but eh, what can you do? I'm holding down control to see what that alternate movement is, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Anyway, right, come on, guys. Reserves to Neil. And okay, so Andrew, you're out first, buddy. Take up a position on that wall. Now, can we? See? Ah, there's the UFO. <sighs> Don't think I like you being exposed like that. All right, you duck down. Now, Lady V, you can go next to Andrew, but you can duck. The last thing we want to see now is an alien frag coming out of nowhere. It's duck down. I don't think anyone's going to have time for reaction shots. Lord Zeon, you can start making your way through this area with your debt packs. So I want you. Yeah. Can you go there? Take a look and duck. Now, how many TUs do you need for a snapshot? So, in theory you could have enough to use to get a snapshot off but I don't think you're gonna have the skills for that cock munch can back up Xeon so you can get these guys to slowly peel round and then these guys here Sir Dean you can just get off the boat it takes so many TUs to begin with just to get off the boat, it's just crazy. There we go. She's got quite a few to use though. Get down there and duck. Lord Zeon. Lord Zeon, I mean Dean. You can go that way. Now these guys will start peeling off down this way. Um, and hopefully, we can uh, actually make a bit more of a success this time. Alright, come on Ada. Get that and kneel down. Now Georgina, you can go around this way too. It always takes so long to get your men out of the ship. Right, okay. Jill Valentine. You know what, you can go with this force too. I don't like the way they're grouped up, but they should be okay. There's no real reason for them to be in too much danger. Alright, well, save the game and hold on to your ass. Ah. Okay, so they are actually out in the wild. Okay, let's get our scout on. Nothing yet. So they're probably in this building. Hmm. Let's move you up. Now, as much as it would suck to lose this tank also doesn't matter because the tank only costs money whereas lo losing soldiers if we can help it is absolutely unacceptable right, let's move you up here cock munch take a pew right Lord Zeon back him up it's gonna take most of your TUs to get there but that's okay as long as you have enough to use to duck and turn around hmm this wall here is kind of annoying but there's nothing we can do about it. Right, come on, Jill. These guys all seem to be quite far from the fight, so I don't mind using most of their TUs on movement. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly how it works. I did used to know, but I think if you continuously exhaust all their time units, they actually build their time units up more. But don't quote me on that. 
Right, take a take a seat, my friend. Also, if you keep running them ragged, they do run out of energy as well, which is something that you really don't want to happen. Because if they run out of energy, although they still have to use, they still can't move or do anything, they get exhausted. Which is a cool mechanic, but jeez. Right, Lady V. You can just provide overwatch there. Andrew, yeah, you can sit there with your rocket launcher. If any suckers come out of there, you can pop them of that thing. Uh, and Anna, I guess... I guess you can provide overwatch there with your rifle. Duck down, though. I don't know if they can see over these walls when they're ducked. I can't remember. Alright. Ah, alien bastard up there. That's unusual. Right, anybody got an eyes on? Let's have a look at the map. What's the map? M? S. M. Lovely. Right, okay. Let's get... Ah, he can see him. I wonder if Andrew has a shot with his rocket launcher. That's a hell of a shot to make. Let's try. Aimed shot. 37 TUs. He has them. But he does have to fire over that wall and over that. I'm going to save it before I try it. I've got a feeling he's going to shoot the wall in front of him. Well, no line of fire at all. Could we get a rocket anywhere near that? No. Bugger. Okay, duck back down. So in that case, I wonder... Let's move these guys up. Come on, Jill, get up there. Can you get eyes on? No. Okay. I don't like this area at all. There's no cover in this cabbage patch or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Alright, come on, guys. Georgina, sit down there. I don't want them to be too close together for obvious reasons. Um. Okay, you can sit there then. Sir Dean, back these guys up. Okay, sit down. Well, the good news is we haven't been horribly murdered instantly. Now, I don't know whether to go around the back. I guess Captain Cockmunch can run up. Right, so there's another building behind the saucer, which is unfortunate. Alright, you stay there, buddy. Captain, get down. Now, Lady V, you can move in over there if you can. Alright, duck. Hold on to your ass, guys. Where are you going, you sneaky bastard? Ooh! Shots fired. Right. Now, can anybody... Yes, you've got an angle. Can we go for an aimed shot? Jill, plant that on his ass. Yes! Confirm kill. Nice, guys. Now, there was another, someone through here. Zeon. Could you, in theory, get an explosive over there? You can see him. Yeah, so... Can't... Ooh, nice shot, you hit him. But... Cock munch is up to you, my friend. 49%. Do it. Ooh, cock munch has got him. Beautiful. Okay. That was pretty good. All things considered. Um, Andrew, you can sit back. I want to move these guys up. The only trouble is it takes so long to get them up and around. But that's okay. They can just provide some cover. Let's go scouting. It's a shame these guys can't actually go through. But what we could do, I suppose, snapshot. Take this out. Right. Let's 
out of TUs. Okay, let's sit back. There's probably one alien left. Oh, right, he's right at the back. All right, guys, time to advance. Now, I don't think... Yeah, yeah, you can't even hop over little fences. I forgot about that. Right, okay. This could get delicate. I want to move these guys up, but... Need to be extremely careful of that because there could be an alien in there. There might be. Um, it all depends how much damage was received when it hit the dirt. In fact, Xeon, he's in a good position there. Now that shot came from down here. I'd love. I wonder. I doubt Andrew is going to have an angle. I'd love to plant a rocket in here. Let's try it. I have a feeling aim shot is going to be no line of fire. That is a shame. Okay, never mind. So this is a bit of an unfortunate map. Although we've lucked out with this area, this isn't too great. Lady V, I want you to move up. Don't like you being out of cover like that. But there's nothing we can really do about it at the moment. Okay, so we got. There really isn't a lot of cover at all. I guess. This doesn't have any to use to get anywhere. We need to try and get someone by that ship. Right, this team can start moving up. Now, these no names, like Ada Wong and Jill Valentine, are slightly more expendable. Than, the, than you guys. Oh, bugger. Yeah, he is there, alright. The <sighs> trying to think, what tactical options do we have? Not much. I guess we could take a shot with a tank. But I don't want to. I want our soldiers to get the XP. But what we could happen is... With any luck, he'll focus his fire on the tank. That would be best case scenario. Because even if we do lose the tank, it shouldn't matter too much. Dean, could you get an angle on him? Not enough time units. Go for a snap. No line of fire. Yeah, I thought as much. Alright, fair enough. Georgina, get over there. Kneel down. Come on, Dean. Get down. Uh, actually, hmm. Dean could push up to there. He would be in cover, technically. Right, although the door's there. But again, if something comes out of this door, it's going to walk into this. So, that should be fine. Okay. Yes. Okay, he's taking the bait. He's going for the tank. Little does he know, the tank possesses no threat to him whatsoever. Has taken a few hits, though. Okay. I want to pull the tank back. So, although it is technically expendable, I don't want it to be destroyed. Right, Dean. If you go there, buddy, are you going to be able to see the alien? No, the alien must have moved. No, we don't want to aim shot. Snapshot that. Um, I don't know what the tank shot at there. Ah, oh, you're there, right. Hmm. Okay, well, if we, like I said, if we lose the tank, we lose it. But, yeah, it's a lot of money. Ah! Jill, aim. Take that bastard out. So she can see it, but she can't hit it. Interesting. Go behind that cover. What about now? Aim shot. Yes. No, did you just hit the tank? Probably, but you didn't damage it. God damn it, Jill, really? Right, Ada, if you move up there, you're going to have 24 TUs. 
You could take a snap, I guess. Go on, do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, duck. You got 30 to use. Can you? Yeah. You could take an auto shot. T three chances of hitting at 23%. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. We did it as well. Nice. Alien alloys. No Illyrium, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. I will take it. So we have our first Sarge. I'm quite happy with that. Save that bass. Um, well done, lads. Okay, not bad. I could have gone so much worse. Right, now, and also we, we didn't lose our tank, which is rather fantastic as well. Okay, so Herman, are you any good, my friend? Please say you're at least competent. You are out of here. Goodbye. Ten bloody bravery. What's the point? Right, purchase recruit. Uh, soldier. Let's get another dude. Come on, guys. Surely you can dig up someone better than that. Uh, general stores. Good. Okay. What else have we got? Ah, laser pistol. Wonderful. So, yeah, laser pistol is a bit of a beast. Allocate research. You guys. Ah, plasma pistol. Hmm. We're going to need laser weapons first, I feel. There's a lot of good research there, but get us some laser weaponry. Allocate manufacture, new production. We're going to go to laser pistol. And we're just going to produce the shit out of these, and they're all just going to be sold. Because we couldn't care less about laser pistol technology, I suppose. We're not even using them anyway, to be fair. So, right, ours. Come on, guys. Ah, hello. Now, are you any good? You're crap. Get out of it. I think... Whoever's in, P, um, in charge of hiring people is either heavily retarded or is taking the piss. Find me someone competent. Someone I can use would be fantastic. Alright buddy, what about you? Uh, get, yeah, okay. Someone's taking the piss. Big time here. God damn it. Should we just... Oh, I was going to say, should we just hire a couple of people, but we can't. These... Ah, living quarters. Okay, get a base. Recruit. We want... Engineers. Not enough money. Oh, okay. That's fine. Give me ten more engineers. Ah, oh shit. It's a large. Uh, central UFO... He's moving at 4,800. We try and intercept him, but I don't think our interceptors are fast enough. No. Return to base. Scrap that one. It's not going to happen. Okay, alien containment. Wonderful. Okay. And Nicola. Let's have a look at you. 50. Okay, we have someone we can work with. You're not amazing. But you'll do, you'll do, you'll do. You are going to be... Uh, yeah. Clear red field. Okay. Now we had some other unnamed people, didn't we? Georgina. Georgina. That's not much of a... A name? Do we have an Ada? We have a Claire. We have a Leon. Um, okay, we'll think of a name for her later. Um, and she's no name. Wonderful, I like it. Uh, who else do we need? Anna isn't named. Jill. Okay, Andrew. So they're the only two no names. Okay, so just scrap that a minute. Go to research. See how that's coming along. Only average with 30 guys working on that. A 
equip craft. Um, hmm. Okay. What about the manufacturer? Yeah, so we sold five of them, I believe that means. Right, let's carry on. Right. There we go. Did I do what I think I did? I did. I got loads of troops instead of scientists, uh, engineers. Well, that wouldn't be the first time I've done that. Let's have a look through, see if we have any decent people. You're definitely gone. I mean, these spare people will come in handy anyway. Sack, sack, 30. You know what, 30 is too low, really. Yeah, 30. Oh, Andrew, you're a 30, really? Well, hopefully that will go up. And Captain, yeah, people are improving. It's good to see. Okay, right, well that'll do for now. Claire Redfield, duh, 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 duh. okay. Yeah, we really need a name. Ada, Jill, Claire. Let's go for, you can be, uh, oh, what am I pushing? There we go. Uh, you can be a list. Uh, cyan. That will do. Okay. Right, in that case, let's purchase and recruit engineers. Engineers are expensive, mind. How many can we get? We can get three. We really need about 20 of them. I do like seeing our money building up, that's cool. Laser rifle complete, view reports. Laser rifle is a more powerful and accurate version of the earlier pistol design. Yes, okay. Now, we can go for heavy laser, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the team. We want medikits. So we're gonna, yeah, we get 10 people on medikits, start project. And then we will go for heavy plasma. Um, let's go for heavy laser. Get all the lasers done and out of the way. Start project. Okay. Now, allocate manufacture. Let's cease production on those. Ah, stop production. There we go. New production. And we want laser rifle to start. To begin with, we're just going to sell them because we need to get our money uh, into a more acceptable level so let's get some engineers there we go i'm not sure though how much we actually make from these more engineers go to base uh manufacture get on that project guys so they're costing us twenty thousand. so if i take that off sell and we just run our funds right out which actually already is it's kind of annoying uh okay Let's go to bases. Did we actually manufacture any of them? Uh, plasma pistol. Sect oh, we've got five sectoid corpses. we get rid of those. We only need one. Uh, we'll keep all those laser rifles. Okay, so we make 14 odd grand off those. Right. Okay. That will do then. Sell so sack. And we are going to manufacture new production. Get some laser rifles. Start production. Just build a run of 20 and sell them. Because our weapons at the moment are okay. But we need the money. Money is an issue. Small, very low. Intercept. Intercept one. Get rid of it. Where are you? You're actually there. Okay, waste it. What is it? Ooh, a little bit bigger. Nice. Come on, give it another. Beautiful. Well done, that man. Tea and medals waiting for you back in England. Now, let's go and get our guys out of here. Ah, right. So, intercept. I thought I said another one there, and I was like, what? Already? Right, crash site two. Let's do it. 
everybody should be fairly well equipped. Yep, that will do. Oh shit, it's a nighttime mission. That is completely my fault. I'm drop a save. Never do nighttime missions. The aliens have all the advantages, and I literally mean all of the advantages. Um, aliens can see perfectly in the dark. Your men obviously can't. Right, so let's scout the area. At least we're kind of starting off right next to the ship. That could be a bad thing, though. Right, okay. So, Andrew, you're going to park your ass just there, buddy. Sit down. If anything comes out of that door, <laughs> you know what to do. You know what to do. Right, let's get Lady V out of here. Now, the problem is... I, okay, nothing might be able to sneak around there. Now, we're going to have to bust into this place. Possibly toss a debt pack into it. Try and take the door out. Breaching alien... Ah, that was kind of unfortunate, the way that you decided to go all the way around. That's fine. Uh, you, my friend, can go over here. Captain Cockmunch. And what we're going to do... We're going to... Hmm, actually, I don't like it. These guys... Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like the formation our guys have come out in. But there's not too much we can do about that right now. You go there, turn around, duck. Right, guys, with that, we are actually at our time limit. So I'm going to end the video here. When we come back, hopefully, we're not going to die horribly and we're going to have another UFO to cart off and cut up. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.